Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name's Simon down here at Burford Golf Club and I'm gonna be doing a full course vlog just with a two iron, no putter, no other clubs in the bag, putting the lot just with a two iron around here on the back nine at Burford. Guys, let's see if we can get this video up to 100 likes. You did so well on the last video. Thank you ever so much for the support and you seem to really like this kind of format. If there's anything I can do to make it better, then please leave a comment below what you want to see in the next one club challenge course vlog leave a comment below as well i've had putter i've had driver which again i think is really good but what driver what putter make it a bit more specific um and i'll be sure to get that out so let's get into the video So another nine hole shot tracer course log around Burford. You guys really like the other one. So I thought I'd do another one. And I think this is one of my best ones. I've kind of played about with the apps quite a bit. Um, just trying to give as much information and um, visuals on there so that you can see obviously for the long range shots, the short game stuff, don't necessarily see, need the visuals because you can kind of see where the ball's finishing up anyway. So a whole nine hole course log just with a two iron. And it, uh, well, it proved difficult. There's a few areas, especially putting. Because it has quite a flat face, you feel like you can just putt with it. Um, but there is loft on it, which um, made it very inconsistent into gauging how hard to hit it. Therefore, a nice little double bogey to start, on with, start with um on the round now that's just uh, fantastic so we'll take that one now um the par threes are always going to be difficult obviously with traps right at the front of them so i was teeing them high um and yeah just trying to see if i can get it somewhere around the green and then bump and running there was a lot of bumping running as you can imagine with the two iron um and again it was interesting to play this way and i'll tell you why you're having to be creative, you're having to think of different scenarios um, and you're having to pick spots where you want the ball to land, imagining how it's going to react with the ground um, and that's all you can do. If you get lucky um, or don't get lucky, as long as you've ex executed the shot the way you thought you were going to, that's all you can really ask for. Um, so four over through two, so it was obviously um, a splendid little start from myself um, and on the par 5-12 here, two big two irons, I hit both of these lovely ends. The gap at iron, I'm not going to lie, it feels great, um, but I can't necessarily see any difference between the P790 UDI that came out or even the RSI 1 um, UDI that came out. I just like TaylorMade to stick with a utility driving iron for more than a year and uh, keep it out in the public. A bit of wind there, as you can see, it's nice and strong. Um, but they do like to just, for whatever reason, um, release it and then two months later discontinue it. Um, and hopefully this is the one that's going to stay out. It's very forgiving. I like the graphite shaft in it. Um, and when you do hit out in the middle, it goes an absolute ton, which is kind of what you want from a driving arm. It's a great club for Burford because you don't particularly need um, a big shot. You need to keep it in play. And um, that's kind of what I did. This was a nice little shot um, here. And the last one, I got really lucky with the short game stuff. It's like playing mini golf. You're having to really try and look at the contours, where the ball's gonna roll. And that was a nice little shot. And I thought I could actually get a birdie, get one back. Unfortunately, it didn't turn. So yeah, tailor-made, I'd love them to just stick with um, a utility driving iron. I know they have quick turnarounds with their clubs anyway, but it'd be nice for them to, to stick with one and keep it out in the market um, for a bit longer than two, three months. Um, just so that everyone can get used to it and obviously you can get it out there. Now the adjustable shaft is an interesting one. Obviously I haven't played around with that. I've never played with adjustable shafts ever with my drive and my woods. At the end of the day for me, um, my swing needs to change if I need to alter anything on the club. Um, but it's good for a fitting point of view um, in terms of interchangeable shafts now. And um, it'd be interesting to look on the GC2 what difference this actually makes if I was to loft it down or loft it up um, in terms of ball flight, trajectory, spin. I can't honestly see it being that much um, difference because there's so many factors when it comes into an iron shot. Uh, the spin rate obviously plays a big part. This was an interesting par three, look at this. What a shot, I'm loving this by the way. This is the best shot of the day. I opened that club face up, I had about 120 yards to the flag, slice underneath it, couldn't believe how well that came off. I would never, I wouldn't be able to get it that close with a wedge. So I got a bit lucky there. And again, that would have been the ultimate birdie. I was thinking I'd definitely finishing off with a, with the um with the bogey on that hole but um luckily got away with that nice little slice and uh, yeah two putt for a nice part 
Loving the low sun. Obviously, it's getting dark. It is drawing in, but I love the so, um, low sun around Burford with the trees. It just looks lovely in the evenings. So I'm getting as much golf in as I can. Nice little punch shot here. It's good. It's a good controllable iron. I'm not going to lie. Um, with any two iron really obviously it's got a bit of weight behind it um you can hit low shots you can curve it you can shape it if it's a club that you don't struggle for distance but you need some more accuracy in your life then this is a club to definitely consider it's more forgiving i'd say um, than the tmb but i think the tmb you can definitely hit more controlled punch shots this one definitely spins a lot more than the tmb um, and then obviously this one comes standard in graphite the tmb still i it struggled for me to choose between the two. I think I'd probably pick the TMB just purely on aesthetic, like uh, aesthetic reasons, I should say, just because I think it looks better. Um, I feel like the tailor-made gappers, um, tiny bit gimmicky, but at the end of the day, I'm not really that precious when it comes to these kind of things. If it does what it says on the tin, then I'm more than likely going to put it in the bag. And this iron's more than enough to put it in the bag. The only thing it is is 219 pounds which is a lot of money, but it's around the same area as the TMB. So if you want a decent driving iron, this is definitely one to consider. Um, obviously price point um, is quite high and up there. So you obviously you have to weigh into the fact is that worth it or not? Uh, but it was nice playing nine holes with it, just getting used to it, getting the feel. Um, obviously I had some interesting spots with chips and everything else. Luckily didn't go in a bunker. I don't think uh, Duncan would have been happy me in a bunker shot with this thing as it's just come in the shop as a demo. And um, yeah, guys, let me know if you like these kind of course vlogs. Obviously leave a like. I want to do more of them. Give me some ideas and uh, I'll catch you guys later.